there is a lot of gearbox noise there. There's definitely a whine going on in that back end. There's a trick on that tooth. So I'm going to have to replace that gear. So that's the one causing the problems. See a piece is chipped off the edge there. That bearing feels like it might have some pitting in it. That's the other one I need. That's chewed up. The gears I need have arrived from Friday Parts. I had a lot of trouble finding these gears. They are quite hard to get hold of now. Thankfully Friday Parts were able to source them. They look to be the right ones. Awesome. And I've ordered the seals and bearings as well. I just got those locally. Yeah, that one was probably the worst bearing. You can feel quite a bit of pitting in that. Notice there's a couple of holes in that gear so to oil the roller bearing which goes in there so make sure they're not clogged up. Someone mentioned that um, they thought the shaft was bent when I was spinning it before. That shaft is pretty much perfect on the dial gauge. Um, I think what he was seeing was this sleeve here moves on the shaft and it kind of gives the illusion that the shaft isn't isn't straight because it's on the outside and it's not a tight fit so yeah that's all that was i think i've checked them all and they're all perfectly straight so i don't have to straighten anything First of all, I've got to put that bottom shaft in. There's a shim that goes in to there uh, against the circlip. There's a circlip inside there, and the bearing goes against that. When I pulled this apart, these two washers here which are to let the oil into the bushing they were next to each other on this side which i don't think is right i think there should be one on either side uh, to let the oil in and that's what it shows on the manual as well so i'm going to put it how i think it should be um, and we'll see if, if it's out of whack here on this gear with the mating one i'll put it back how it was but i think that's how it's meant to go i've measured all the tolerances of the shafts and the bushings and they're all fine and into the bearing circlip in there as well.
Close to the O-ring, it's cut up. So I've got some grease on the ball bearing just so it stays on that spring, hopefully. Should make it stick in there. This rod goes inside. Put a bit of oil on that so it slides in better. And I've got to get that lever in there as well. Few things that have to fit together. And then this rod has to go through the selector. And then there's a ball bearing sitting in there on a spring. I've got to hold that ball down um, against the spring as I push, push the shaft through. So I can get the shaft through over top of the ball bearing. over the end of the shaft, keep it in there. That's doing what it should. Nice. Bit of oil on there. That's sounding a lot better than it was before. That was uh, making a horrible grinding noise before I changed those gears, so I think that solved the problem. And all the gears are lined up. You can see that one and the, that one are meshing perfectly, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that those washers were in the wrong places before um, on either side of that bushing down there, so yeah, that's all lining up perfectly. That bearing is flat to the end, so I think that's going to be a lot better. Good. And that's changing gears nicely. Yep, that's all working well. So much better. So there's a thrust washer in between the bearing and the first gear. I forgot to show that on the camera, but it is in there. And don't don't leave that out. There's a ball bearing down there that I've got to get into a groove at the same time. Yep.
circular. Needs to be pushed back onto there. Selling a lot better than it was before. That's for sure. And the roll bearing goes on the end. So that's the layer of grease on there. Looks easier to get apart next time. Sounding really good, and much better. So we've got a couple of shims going on there, and then that shaft. getting it all together. Ball bearing goes into there. Try not to drop that. Alright, I've got to get this um, shaft around the right way. I think, yeah, it goes like that with the short end towards the front. Give it a bit of a whirl. So I'm going to try and hold that ball bearing down against the spring while I push the shaft in. Done. Yep. There's a th thrust washer which goes on there and that shaft goes into a needle bearing so those grooves let oil into the bearing so that goes on there and this goes on for the PTO goes on here on that shaft and that's all ready to bolt back on to the uh, rear end so I've stuck the gasket on just with some silicon RTV and greasing the other side of it just makes it easier to get off next time and um, it only sticks to one side make sure everything is lined up in there fold those stakes over so that the bolt can't come out and get chewed up in the gearbox.
before I take that off, we'll just mark it so I know exactly where it goes back on. So that seal's pretty knackered, that's where the water's been getting in and that's why the rod has gone rusty on the end and also quite rusty down there. Get some new seals. See those seals have been leaking for a while and letting moisture in and uh, dirt so yeah it's a bit of a mess in here yeah, those seals have gone hard and are not doing much sealing those bushings are all right so we'll leave those in there That bore is a bit rough, it does have some grooves on it and a tiny bit of pitting. So I'll just give that a quick hone and clean it up. Right, that's got rid of all the scoring on the bore and there's a nice cross hatch on there now so that should be pretty good. So I'm just using a like a 300 grit stone on there. So I'll put the piston back in this top side because it's kind of rounded there and it will slide in easier. Whereas this side, it's got like a sharp edge so it's gonna, probably gonna cut the seal if I try and slide it in that side. So I'll just pop it back in there. surface where the o-ring was is 
a bit rough, so I'm just sort of getting the old rubber off there. It's kind of stuck on there. That's pretty good now. Nice and smooth, so that will do the job. grease on the seal lips and in, inside the bushing and I've got to line up the marks on here and the lift arms Let's circle up in there line up those marks So I'm just lining up those marks that I made earlier. are both even. That should go a bit better because it was quite scored and it must have been leaking a bit of oil around the uh, around the seal so yeah that's all ready to go back on. I've got to put the selector cover back on and I've got to line these two selectors up with the, these two gears and also the high low here to slot onto there so three things I have to line up so I'll just try and get it all lined up here first and I can just slot it in there hopefully Sounds like someone's laying an egg. <laughs> All right. That feels perfect. Nice. That's all working as it should. I'm going to have to replace that boot as well, I think. What the hell's wrong with that chop, man? That must have been a big egg. I reckon that's a double yoker. <laughs> Sounded painful. No, that's looking good. All right. Please. 
The old roll pin is stuck in there, right? Yeah, that went. The end of the roll pin was stuck in there. Right, there's a little o-ring inside of this fitting so we'll make sure that's sitting in there properly and then there's another one goes on there clean out that groove I'll grease that o-ring and that'll hold it in place so it doesn't move Filter. the tranquility of nature <laughs> it's just so peaceful out here all right that's um, everything back together so the moment of truth we'll uh, start her up and see if that noise is gone
all the gears work perfectly everything meshes together no more horrible noises in the gearbox so problem solved it's a quite a good little machine now the hydraulics are staying up whereas before they were gradually um, dropping down so honing the cylinder and replacing the seal I think has solved that problem the rotary hose seems to be working fine but um, it's so rocky around here I couldn't really get it to bite in um, I'll be taking this machine out to the island to work on the garden out there and to maintain the trails and tow boats up and down the driveway but it's boat only access so I'm gonna have to make a, uh, a raft first of all to to tow it over there it's about five kilometers over the water so that's the next job make some sort of uh, raft so I can get it to the island so yeah, it was just these uh, these couple of gears and the bearings that was causing all the problems. And these gears were actually quite hard to find. I couldn't get them in New Zealand. Thankfully, Friday Parts sourced them and sent them to me free of charge. So thanks a lot, Friday Parts. Really appreciate it. Got the old girl going again. I'll leave a link to their website in the video description. Um, check them out if you're looking for parts for machinery they do all sorts of things thanks for coming along guys we'll see you next time